Hello ladies, I'm Denise and thank you all for your comments. Uh, here is your requested video on the uh, red rose that you see above. Um, you can actually use of course any colored ribbon that you have. I prefer to use the satin uh, stamping up ribbon um, or any basically stamping up ribbon that you may have on hand. Um, very simple. Um, basic two, basically the two things you're going to be needing is your, your red ribbon or whatever color ribbon you have and a glue gun. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon and it's going to be, oh goodness, about this long, okay? Not too long. So mine's a little bit longer. I like to work with it a little bit longer, but what you're going to do is at the end of your rows, when you're finished, I'll get into that that part, um, you can just snip the ribbon because, of course, you don't want your rows to be, you know, too overformed. You don't want it to look, you want it to look as real as possible, basically. So I'll show you as the rows comes together exactly what I mean. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is you're going to, after you cut your ribbon, you're going to take a lighter and you're going to melt the ends of both ends of your ribbon like so and what you're going to do now is you're going to take your ribbon the end of your ribbon and you're going to fold it over like so okay let's get a little more lighting in here okay so I do that again you're going to take it from the corner and you're going to just fold it over like so. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay, if you can see. Just taking the corner, folding it over. And this is going to be the tail. And I'll show you at the end because either you can, if you have intentions of making roses, long stem roses for Valentine's or Mother's Day, you're going to be able to take a stick and it'll be a, there will be a hole where you can ins insert the uh, stick or uh, flower wire and make a rose this way as well. So now, okay, here we go. We're going to take it holding, I'm going to use this as, I don't know what the word I can use, the tail. And I'm going to take it, holding it firmly, you're going to take the ribbon and you're going to start to roll. Okay, hold it and roll in. Okay, if you can see that. Take it and roll. And this is actually what it's going to start to look like. It's going to start to look sort of like a rosebud. Okay? And then, this is where you use the glue gun. You're going to place a little bit of glue so that it stays and holding it in place for a second. And I normally hold my glue gun in hand while, while I do this. So Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the ribbon and once you got the rosebud down, goodness gracious, you can tell I'm a rookie, and you're going to fold it back with your fingers. Okay, it'll kind of, you want it to go back. And then you take it and you're going to turn it in again. Okay? Rolling it in like so. Taking more glue and putting it on. You don't need much glue, just enough to actually and then you start to have your your rose is starting to form. And you take it again, folding it back and rolling it in. Placing some glue. So if you can see what it's starting to look like, I hope. And it's actually starting to look somewhat like a rose. And holding on to the tail part <clears throat> of the rose, you're going to take it again, pulling it back. See, you take it, pull it back, and rolling it in and then placing a little glue right at the bottom 
by where the tail is and just hold it there for a second until it sticks letting go okay this is what it's gonna your rose should look like <clears throat> excuse me and you're gonna repeat these steps until your rose starts to look more and more like a rose okay taking it rolling it under and around like so taking another little bit of glue and holding it there okay and you're going to keep again repeating these steps until your flower starts to get full taking it rolling it back and under I may not be one of the best teachers and I hope that y'all are following me so you take it back and under and hold it with your fingers while you place the glue and hold it like so and letting it go okay taking your ribbon holding it back and if you'd like sometimes I like to put a little point on mine it's excellent when you're working with a satin ribbon because it forms differently than if you just had regular ribbon uh, I like sometimes to put a little point and if that's the case you actually wouldn't turn it underneath so so much you just kind of put it on a point like so and then placing your your glue there but if not you can fold it all the way back a little more giving it more of a round edge okay now like so now I'll show you as if I was to do a point now there's the point okay some some of them I'll do a point some of them I'll do more of a round a rounded edge so now that's what the rose is starting to look like and I'm going to be stopping in a few seconds because I don't want my flower to look fake okay so I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to snip off the rest of my ribbon and I'm going to show you what to do at the end you cut your ribbon at at any part okay and I'm going to cut my rose there now what I'm going to do is you have your little rib piece of ribbon that's left you're going to take your flower <clears throat> turning it over placing a little glue there and just taking it and flip it underneath there like that okay just glue it there no one's gonna see it holding it again by the tail and using your hand to kind of form it any way that you wish for it to look and there you have it your rose now of course you can do the exact same the exact same thing but with a different color ribbon okay you're going to take your ribbon like so and you're going to fold it over okay just like that now you're going to take and you're going to roll it in okay so you're going to take it and you're going to roll it in inward taking it rolling it inward maybe once or twice until you get until you get it to look sort of like that taking a little bit of glue from your glue gun placing it in or on the ribbon holding it there now this is what you're going to do you're going to take the ribbon take and using your finger you're going to push that back see take it and push it back now you're going to roll it in your ribbon like so and because it's satin ribbon it forms beautifully you can take a little bit of more glue and holding it on and this is what it's gonna start to look like now taking it again with your using your fingers rolling it back and rolling it over placing a little more glue not too much just a little bit because that's all you're going to need and holding it okay 
repeating the steps again, taking a little bit of glue, applying it to the ribbon, and holding it there. Okay? Take it, pulling it back, holding it while you place a little glue. Now as you see that our white ribbon rose starting to form the exact same way as the red ribbon rose. And we're going to keep doing this. I work very quickly, of course, because I know how to do it. So we're going to take it again, taking your ribbon, like as if you're tucking it in the back. And holding it back, glue, hold, okay? <laughs> back, glue, hold. Okay, back again. And like I said, because you have the satin ribbon, you can form it a little differently. You can kind of take your, take your ribbon and looking at your rows and seeing, you know, sort of how you want See what I mean? You could take it and f form it underneath and to see if that looks nice to you. Okay, well, uh, we're limited on time, I know, on video, so I'm going to leave off here. But there's your white rose. There is your red rose. Oh, pardon me, I dropped her. Okay, so now there is the white and if I can hold it by its tail, there's the red. Now, like I said, if you have a, if you have a, normally I use a stick because I always have sticks on hand. Uh, you take a stick <coughs> where you left off, you can take your stick and then there's a hole. And what I normally do is I place a little bit of glue inside of that hole where I left off. And then I take my stick and insert it inside that little hole using my fingers to kind of squeeze it tight and turning it and believe it or not of course well I mean it's glue it's of course it's gonna hold but and then what you can do is you could take if you have it some of your 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 tape your floral tape and you could take it and run it down the bottom 